I want a long and healthy career. I want to be quicker, I want to be stronger, and I want to be a leader. I know that if I'm going to take myself to where I want to go as an athlete and a person, I have to look at all my training options. The usual practice just isn't enough. I want more edge over my opponents. Cross training is so important. I can improve myself and have lower impact on my body. So that's why I'm here in New York City today. I'm at the West 4th Street handball courts to meet handball legend Timbo Gonzalez. Timbo is famous for his eye-hand coordination and speed. My goal with Timbo is to see how he gets that speed through his training. What's up, man? How, how you doing? doing? All right? Good morning, bro. Nice to meet you. How's everything? Good, good, good. Appreciate you. You want to play handball? I'm ready. Yeah, I want to go through the full thing. I want to, I want to see everything you do. I've known about the basketball courts for a long time. You always hear about games here, but to be on these courts, I mean, the atmosphere is insane. So basically, it's a follow through, you know, just yeah. always want to face your palm also. You always want to connect it, face it towards the wall. Right. Once you get used to it, you can start like aiming as different, you know, hand movements that you can do for different like shots and they come out differently. Okay. You can put like some spins on the ball and stuff, but okay. basically like a follow through, you know, just throw it and then you just, so it's more like just, palm, yeah, you just, palm to the wall. Exactly. It doesn't necessarily have to be shoulder. Yeah, you just you right. got it. Get a good stance. That way you get a good swing. And just follow the ball. Just kind of guide it to the wall. OK. There you go. Blake is nice, easy going. You know, he's a quick learner. There you go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> that left isn't, isn't quite as good. <laughs> The basic idea is court control. So you always want to be in the middle okay. and always want to have the guy moving around, basically wear him down. You always want to send them where they're not at, just like tennis. If a guy's to the right, you send him to the left. Oh. That would have hit, that would have been a good shot. It was, right, it was right on the couple line. Couple more inches. Yeah, it was right on the line. I didn't know like what to expect. I also didn't know much about like the game. So once we kind of got that down and got into the workout, the one thing I definitely wasn't ready for was the endurance factor and just how much you have to move your feet. So let's get the medicine ball. It's like eight pounds. Pretty sure it's nothing to you. It's pretty light. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. Get over here. Ah. <laughs> My bad. Don't worry about it. I was dripping sweat. We were doing the medicine ball against the wall, and Timbo was just kind of, I think he, I saw him yawn like three or four times. So uh, kind of made me, made me put things in perspective for me. But that's the endurance and the way he trains. So definitely have a lot of respect. So now, this is just going to make it like our movement. So it'll just, you know, pull us back a little yeah. bit. Are you, you gonna feel it after a while when you get up here? <laughs> feel it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. There you go. Let's go, baby. Uh. Go. Uh. Get in there. Uh. Best with the resistance band, endurance was crazy. Uh. But then you're still having to find the ball, make the right moves, footwork. It teaches you how to backpedal. It teaches you how to move side to side faster. And it gives you more core strength. But then also you're doing something that doesn't just come naturally. You're having to think a little bit harder. You're mentally being fatigued as well as physically. So that's one thing I loved about this is like I'm trying to remember all the things he's telling me. But at the same time, we're going through this workout. For him, it's easy. But for me, having to go through that mental and physical thing at the same time, I think it kind of pushes you to have next level workout. It's a lot smarter way of training. So you ready for a game of handball? Let's play one quick game. Sure. When you want to play the 21 or 11? We'll go 21. 21, go. full game? All right, yeah. cool. And just be you. Go okay. hard, try to score on me. Okay. okay. You get first serve, remember? 
You get two tries to get it over that line, keep okay. it in this box, and then from there we rally. Okay. Could only score on your serve. Game 21, let's go. All right. There you go. Good try. Ready? Yep. Ball. Yep. It was great to be with a world-class athlete. It shows you how much different oh. his training is, my training, and we both come together and, you know, we can enjoy something. Oh, good shot. Now it's your sir. Now you got to try to score. Zero seven. Good shot. One seven. He's really good. I never had anyone able to hit the ball to me back as many times as he did. He got down to the basics and he learned how to place the ball in angles. And he's a big guy, so it was pretty you know, hard trying to see the ball around him. And every time he sent me an angle, like I couldn't really read it, so I had to really focus on how to get to the ball and just get it back to him. Get in there. Volley, man. You're doing good, bro. Trust, trust me. Plenty of people won't even be able to keep up with a volley like that. Yeah. There you go. Go for your shot. Go in there. There you go. Good shot, boy. 219. Let's go. Try to score again. Let's go. Go for your shot. Oh, nice shot. Great shot. Thank you. It's a professional shot. I wish I meant to do that. <laughs> you got me, that's what counts. <laughs> yeah. Working out with Blake today and giving him a walkthrough and you know, showing him my sport, it was actually, you know, one of the best experiences I had. Oh my God. <laughs> me so. Yeah, man. It's game, man. Appreciate it, man. It's game, man. Good point, dude. Thank you. That's crazy, man. I got a lot, <laughs> lot of respect for you. The biggest takeaway for me is the constant reading and reacting. You're constantly watching the ball off the wall, moving your feet, kind of get in front of the ball, chasing the ball, and that's everything we do defensively in basketball is just reading and reacting to the play, the man, the ball, everything. So this is a great just read and react drill. That was awesome. That was, that was perfect. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much, man. Good luck to you, bro. Next for me is track and field. Obviously, basketball is a lot of running, fast breaks, things like that. So. Try to incorporate that into my game a little bit more. Come out, come out, come out, come out, let's. <sighs>